Japan is full of interesting and unique places. Some of the places here you'll only ever see in this country. You won't ever see in other parts of the world. And once you get here, or once you arrive in Japan, you'll see that it's abundant in temples and shrines. Everywhere you look, you'll see a temple or a shrine somewhere. And according to Google, um, Japan has 100,000 shrines and 80,000 temples. 180,000 of them combined. Imagine, we can't go to these places in our lifetime. It's impossible, I think, uh, unless you spend your entire life visiting them, and I don't know why. But yeah, they're everywhere. Uh, once you look in a quiet neighborhood, or even in the middle of a busy city, you'll see a shrine somewhere, or you'll see a temple, somewhere stuck between two houses, etc. And I think this is very interesting. Like, I've never seen this in my own country, and maybe in yours as well, where uh, you can see them on top of the mountains, you can see them near the sea, or near the river. Literally, they're everywhere. So once you visit Japan and go to the shrines and temples here, you'll realize that, oh wait, they kind of look similar. And it's, you know, it makes sense because they have a similar structure, similar architecture. They have the same themes. And so a trip to a shrine or a temple would eventually get boring because it's like you've seen the same thing before in another place. So that what happened to me. Uh, I don't, you know, when I, whenever I plan an, an itinerary or something to a place, to some place, I don't include shrines and temples anymore unless, unless they're very interesting and unique. Tapat may kakaibang factor dun sa shrine na pupuntahan ko. And that's where Gotokuji Temple comes in. Okay, say it with me. Gotokuji Temple. Gotokuji Temple. And if you don't want to, then it's um, known as the Cat Temple too. Interesting, huh? That's what, you know, made me go to this temple. Aside from, well, PewDiePie visited this temple. <laughs> So I thought it was interesting to go. So when I saw this temple from um, PewDiePie's video, if you don't know PewDiePie, he's the number one legit, legit, no, not legit, but the, you know, the uh, individual most subscribed YouTuber in, in YouTube. Because yung una, T-Series, which is, you know, a company. So duh, it doesn't make sense. So only PewDiePie is number one. Another reason why I uh, wanted to go to this temple is simply because it's a cat temple. Like, that, those two words don't really go together, I think. I've never heard of a dog temple. Is there a dog temple somewhere? Because I want to, want to go there more than a cat temple. But no, it's just a cat temple. Uh, so does that mean they worship cats? I, I had no idea when I went there. And I don't really like cats. Uh, well, I find them cute and whatnot, but I can survive without them. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I think this is still an interesting place. I'll tell you more about the history later on, but for now, I want to tell you how we got there. So, from Tokyo Station, yes, that's us. We took the train to Shinjuku Station and from there we changed trains and took the Odakyu line to Gotokoji Station. So there's a station named after the temple, so it's not easy to miss. Tapos mga konting nakad na lang, I think it took us around 30 to 40 minutes in total from Tokyo Station to the Gotokoji uh, Temple. It's in Tokyo, but it's located in the, you know, more quiet neighborhoods in Tokyo. It's not really close to the city center like Shibuya or Ak Akihabara or stuff like that. So to add more to what I said earlier, uh, this temple doesn't really worship cats, but it was built to show gratitude to cats. Story time! So no unang panahon kasi, 
uh, there was this man named Inaotaka, and he was a lord in Japan at that time. And one day, there was a huge and sudden thunderstorm, like no warning at all. So he was traveling somewhere, and he was passing by this temple, and he saw this cat inviting him inside the temple. And as soon as he approached the cat, a bolt of lightning struck the tree behind him. So he thought, oh, niligtas ako ng pusa. So the cat saved my life. And after that incident, he started staying inside the temple with the cat for many, many years to come. And until he died, you know, he died, I think, in the temple. And yeah, so he dedicated the temple to these cats. So until now, we have this cat temple. So when you enter the temple, you won't notice anything unique at first. You'll see things that you normally see in a, in a temple. Statues, trees, the main temple itself, etc. But once you follow the path and look at the left side of this temple, you'll see this. Thousands of cats staring at you. This part of the temple was renovated, that's why the shelves look new. People think that cats bring good luck. So in the temple, you can see these figurines. You know, I saw a video na super dame. You can buy that in the temple. So the tiniest ones, like this, I'll show you. They're 300 yen. And the bigger ones are a bit more expensive at 5,000 yen. But it doesn't really matter which size you get because it doesn't affect the luck that you'll get from them, they say. You also have the choice to bring the cat figurine home or put it in the temple with the other cat figurines. I don't know if that affects the luck. If you just want it, if you just want it as a souvenir, then you're welcome to do so. Hello guys, nakita na namin ang mga pusa. Uh, nothing special, Jokla. <laughs> nothing special. Pusa. No, it's good. Medyo creepy. Ay? Yung pangit ko. Medyo creepy yung iba. But... Hindi ka nag-makeup today. Hindi ako nag-makeup today. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it's still a very nice experience. This temple still stands out from the others. Uh, so I still recommend this place. If you like cats and you're interested to go to temples, why not go to a cat temple? It's fun. We also saw this cute cat theme train on our way to our next destination. How cool is this? So what do you guys think? Do you want to visit this place? Gusto niyo bang pumunta sa Gotokuji temple or also known as the cat temple? Let me know down in the comments uh, if you want to go. And if you have any questions about Japan or how to get to this place, etc, etc, just comment down below and I'll check them out. I also try to upload videos once a week, so please subscribe and like this video if you know you're interested in the content and so that I'll know if you like this content more in the future. Uh, I really want to, want to feature more places in Japan, so if you want me to do that, just do what I said a while ago. Okay, thanks so much and I hope you enjoyed. See ya!